I think it is the most humane, principled detention facility on the face of the earth. And its reputation is the exact opposite. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, America really understands. I don't think the world really understands uh, what goes on in Guantanamo. I know for our troops that are down there doing the detention mission, that's one of the toughest missions there is. They don't ask to go to Guantanamo, but they do an incredible job. And I believe that the facility we presently have down in Guantanamo is a very humane and appropriate facility for the type of detention we're doing in this conflict. Unfortunately, that gets lost in the, in the mix because there's so much political debate and divisiveness about whether to close it or not, whether to release certain detainees or not. And the, in the great work that the troops detaining these, uh, these, these enemy who would kill them in a heartbeat with given the opportunity, that's a tough job to do and that gets lost and they're doing it very well. Uh, and uh, you also said that, having said that, uh, you think that facility needs to close? It depends, you know, we haven't been clear on what we mean by closed. Eventually it has to be closed. The way we should, you know, work in, in our country is you don't hold people indefinitely without trial in peacetime. In a armed conflict, you absolutely do. We have prisoner of war camps all the time. You, you need to be able to detain people in war. In fact, we should prefer detaining people in war over killing them. We're clearly in a, in a armed conflict. I think in, in any way you look at it, people could debate whether we should be or not. That's a different issue, but we are. We are killing people with drones, and if we are, we need to have an option to detain them as well, not to punish them with a criminal trial. You punish someone for something they did wrong in the past, a crime. You hold people under the law of war as a prisoner of war because they, you're, you're preventing them from attacking you later. You don't kill them, you capture them. And the, the second benefit you get from capturing them is you can question them humanely, and you can get their laptop computers, their cell phones, and you can start investigating to have a better way of fighting that armed conflict and bring it to the end. We should be striving to bring the armed conflict to an end, not necessarily our detention facilities. Whether you move it somewhere else, I'm a, I'm a little less uh, strongly opinionated on that. I think Guantanamo is a word that is entered our lexicon in a very negative way, and moving past that would be a good thing. Do you think that uh, the world perception of Guantanamo uh, is the same as what we think about it here? Well, it's certainly not the way I just described it. Uh, I think a lot of America doesn't think of it the way I described it. Some do. And when you, once you cross an ocean in either direction, you have a very negative view of Guantanamo, unfortunately, because we have not done a good job of explaining First of all, we've, we've not done a good job of explaining that it is not this inhumane place that people think it is, but we've also not done a good job of explaining the legal uh, basis and the moral basis for why you would detain someone in a place like Guantanamo. As a, as a prison, um, it, it really is not what in the way that it's depicted in terms of this bizarre and cruel and, and place like that. There are lots of misconceptions. Um, and. My perceptions is that uh, it's a prison camp, and uh, in many ways, like many of our jails and prisons here, but there are some differences there, and uh, we really do treat these people like they're enemies. So there's a lot in terms of, of how we deal with them that's not the same as what we have in our own prisons. But it's a mixed bag, I have to say, most important. Uh, and so it's, it, it uh, is, is hard in some ways, and uh, actually we've got prisons in the U.S. that are much harder and uh, would be much more difficult for these men. This has been going on for a long time, uh, and uh, you sort of think that uh, there needs to be an end uh, to, to what's going on down there. Talk a little bit about your opinions on that why, and why you think that. Well, I do think it is because it was set up uh, the – when people, when it was decided to move them, uh, these men to Guantanamo, uh, it was because we needed to have a way to handle prisoners of war. And we lost that in the conversation. We're not focused on what we need to do, that well, there are clearly people who are enemies and are a threat to the country, and we need to be able to capture them and hold them. Uh, and that's different from the way we think of it as, as a prison. And I think we have to clear that up. And the conversation's got to be about doing that.
If you don't have them down there, uh, what do you need to do? I mean, I, do you think that there needs to be that portion uh, that, uh, that, that they bring here and they actually hold those trials and determine whether or not uh, they, they need to be held for longer? Yeah, I think there's people that we know that, they're, that are dangerous and are a threat and uh, would continue to be. And uh, because we're at war, we're going to hold them under the conventions of war. And we have places in the U.S. I mean, we have the whole prison at Leavenworth, Kansas, to do that. And we have other military brigs. Uh, those that we want to prosecute, you know, we prosecuted uh, Osama bin Laden's uh, son-in-law in New York very quick. He's got a life prison term. We can do that. And we can clearly hold them in those jails. Do you think that the prisoners down there uh, that are being held right now, uh, how would they adapt to, to going from the Guantanamo to a federal prison? It's very mixed. You know, some of them, they are able to be together, all of them, and so they've got people of the same backgrounds and culture, uh, and, and that way it's, it's good for them. Uh, and the other way that I think it, if they came to a federal prison, I think they might in some ways find it harder.